Hi guys, for continuing on with my birth haul. Um, from Miniso, I bought this cotton, cotton pad. And then I have bought these two concealers. One is number number one and two. They are nude and ivory from Miniso. Again, I want to try it out. It's yeah, it's a cheap makeup product, but I'd like to try. And then I have this matte loose setting powder. I don't know the shade, but we'll see. Okay, from um from Shopee, I bought this four sets of brushes, eye brushes. I think from China. I think. So yeah. And then also from Shopee, from China again. I bought some of these brushes. I've been looking for this kind of brushes. Coastal, Coastal Scent doesn't make this anymore. And as well as the crown brush. So I want to try that. And uh, they have this kind of for, you know, highlight. And then they have this blending brush right here. So yeah, I want to try those, that out. And then from Beauty Manila, I bought, actually, I bought two chikras separately. The Pretty Peach and the, no, not this one. Where is it? I can't, oh, the um, Natural Twinkle. So that's that. And then this Hello Gorgeous Caffeine Eye Serum. It's locally made, so. And also from Beauty Manila, I bought this W7 Pro Artist Brush. Bought three and a backup of this Clover 310 N, which I love. And then from Zalora, I bought three products. I've been into CoverGirl because they are on sale. I want to try this. Hi guys, so continuing on with my haul plus birthday haul. Um, first off, I bought this um, cologne from Watson's. It's really, yeah, um, just perfect for summer. And then at Trinoma or Landmark, I bought this kind of drugstore, um, you know, blending brush. I've been into that lately. And then I bought this holographic from Revlon. Finally, it's here. It's called Fairy Dust. I'm not going to buy the silver one or the violet one because I do have already the same as that. And then, yeah, I came in. I bought this Cirque Colors in Succulent Garden. Such a pretty, pretty um, holographic um, uh, olive green with holographic shimmers. And then I bought this nail color from Essie and it's called what is it called? Oh my gosh. Um Spellbound which is this one is it's a gray because I don't have any gray shimmers like that. And then um there was I think there was a 60% uh, sale. What I mean is you only pay 60% of the product and I bought two eyeshadows from Deborah Lipman and it's matte and it's just number two and then finally a new batch of Wet n Wild um, products and I bought their famous belay and then lately I watched Pixie Wu uh, Nicola um, do a uh, tutorial and then she first applied the sunscreen and I told myself yeah it's summer here and it's very hot even though it's a cold weather sometimes it's rainy it's still hot in here so I need a sunscreen protection and I've been into sunscreen so I bought one sunscreen and this is coffee doll sunscreen it's the cheapest one uh, it's a Korean brand actually so I'll be doing a review and swatch on this do check that out sooner on the vlog and then I bought this kind of brush and as you noticed, I did cut the hair before my birthday, so a day before my birthday. So anyways, 
also I bought Kharkov pressed eyeshadows so let me I'm not going to do you know swatches here I'll be doing that on my vlog so this one is called Bel Air we have this okay and then it'll be cool oh my gosh this one is wake up call this one is um, better be hurry sea stars um, made to last uh, hear me out and then I have here the get hurry okay um, take the lead this one is conundrum this one is sidetracked and lastly this one is liar liar and then of course um, aside from that from Shopee I bought this kind of you know where you put on acetone and dip your nail so that it easily moves uh, and then I bought this thin hi guys so continuing on with my birthday haul um, there was a sale on Olay since my morning moisturizer is Olay there was on sale which is actually a small size of it so I just grab it and that's that I think they have a new packaging already so I bought three three of them and there was a free whenever you buy this you have a free soap from Olay which uh, it's the roast and milk so that's that and then from Zalora there was also a sale so from CoverGirl and I've been into CoverGirl too uh, I love CoverGirl so um, I bought I think two which is from their cheekers and I've heard so much about it and yeah I've been into this late wagon too 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 late um, the shade is rose silk just like that and then the covergirl true blend minerals in light this is a loose powder so I want to try this out and then of course from Zalora I bought this I've been into nail stamping lately and I bought this tourist from Moyu and it was on the sale and uh, it's tourist collection number 21 and what attracted me most is this one this one right here the Paris with the hearts and the rose of course I love roses and this this kind of kind of feels vintagey so that's a word there and this one as well this lady here like kind of reminds of Camille whatever so that's that and then at Avon I bought their finally mark I've already came here in Philippines and I bought their this one I was so sad because they didn't have a separate you know bronzer only they have the both the bronzer and highlight in one pack so I had to buy, to buy it and that's that I bought two actually this one is in Beach Bay and the other one is I think it's almost a little bit lighter I've heard so much uh, good things about Mark actually so I have to buy it and this one is in what is it in vacation glow which two of them are a little bit like to me shades so that's that and then of course <clears throat> lastly um there was during during the last few days of um, my birth month there was a sale 60 percent off i think and for makeup makeup discounts and i've been looking for a uh, alternative for my favorite highlight under eyebrow highlight which is the NYX highlight which long gone bis been discontinued and I've been looking for that um, 
delay is not actually. So yeah. And I found this from Deborah by Milano. And it's a beautiful highlight. And it looks exactly like the same, even if also during the swatch. It's not really matte. It says here it's matte, but it's not. It's more like a satin. I don't know if the camera could pick up that. But that's that. And I'm happy for it. And then, of course, I bought some um, this kind of pocket where you put on your uh, nail stamp templates. And I did bought some of the nail stamp templates, and I'll be posting that on my blog. Yeah, and that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. God bless, and bye bye.